Yeah. Well, Fiona's coming over to talk about her tour and her fourth album, Fire and Light. Oh, Fiona. Welcome back as well. Hello. Oh. How lovely to see oh, you. Oh, great to have you here. Oh, thank you. You rock out, don't you? Um, I try to. I try to have a good time. And that's it what it's about. But it comes across as well. Oh, well, that's, that's the aim of it. I think the whole thing about music, it's supposed to be fun. And people want entertainment. But we do kind of have an idea of classical music's a bit kind of, mm, don't we? Well, I think, you know, people have kind of got that mindset about classical music, but it is changing, I think. Well, we had Nigel Kennedy before and, like, um, Vanessa May. Did you used to watch them when you were younger? I did. I was quite a Nigel fan, actually. I even copied his hairdo when I was about 15. Did you? Yeah, I had a mohawk and I shaved the sides. I did a really bad job of it, though, because <laughs> I shaved it myself. So you've been playing since you were, like, six, the violin? Yeah, five or six, and I started the piano before then, which was fantastic. Mum's a piano teacher, so I got really good ear training with that. So that's, um, that's I mean, it really helps. If you're a string player, you know, we don't have any frets on a violin. So to get some good grounding in something like the piano That really, really helps. helps. Yeah. But when did you realise you were um, fantastic? Keep telling me. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but when did you realise that you were going to make, you know, the, playing the violin your life? Well, I never remember wanting to do anything else, so I guess from day one, which is quite strange because, we, you know, how are you supposed to know what you're going to end up doing when you're five or six years old? But I never, I can't ever remember a day when I wanted to do anything else. I just love music and I especially love the violin because I think it can talk, you know, I can't sing to save my life. So I try to do songs through the violin, I try to get things across, you know, stories about our life. We all have interesting lives and I think, you know, it's sometimes nice to be able to express them. But one thing that's quite different about you than, say, Nigel, is you compose your own music as well. I do compose a lot of music and I think that that's been the fun part of performing for me now because when I, what happened is that I did a lot of classical music right. and then I switched to doing a lot of jazz, which I learned a lot about improvising, which was fantastic. And that's a re that was a really good start to getting into writing. So I only started writing about eight years ago. Wow. But I don't know, it means I can create what I want to play. Because I always, I could never figure out, even as a teenager, why am I spending hours practicing stuff that everyone else has played? And, and I want to create something different and fresh and exciting. And, and I also love working with a band, you know. Right. I mean, often we have, on the tour that we're doing, we've got drums and bass and guitar and piano. So it's a really full, fat sound. And, you know, we can, we can just really get into the music as well as making it ideally musical. Because on your new album, Fire and Light, you composed everything, didn't you? Nearly everything. We've got on... The only two tunes I didn't... There's a little swing tune on it called I Found a New Baby. Oh, right. And it's a gorgeous little tune. Um, I first heard played by Django Reinhardt. Just a really oh, sweet yum. little gypsy swing tune. And then a complete opposite being Catch a Cherry and Sabre Dance. Oh, my goodness. So we recorded that as well, and it was fantastic. It had the whole orchestra and the band pumping away on Sabre Dance. Like, yeah, go. Because you went to Prague and used the Prague Philharmonic to record? Yeah, the City of Prague Philharmonic, I first heard them about a year ago and um, I talked to my partner who's also my producer and um, he's, you know, we, we were just like, oh, we've got to do this, we've got to make it happen. Wow. It's a dream, absolute dream. Coach. It must be amazing with a whole orchestra as well behind you when you're playing your own music. I couldn't believe it, I really couldn't. It's, it's very humbling to, to sit there and realise that, that you're in this position where the orchestra is is playing something wow. you've written and arranged, and it's like, oh, wow. Oh, you're lovely. Because <laughs> you've just got back from a huge successful tour of England as well, haven't you? Well, I've been doing more kind of festivals and concert halls, right. Scotland, um, over to Ireland this year, went to Jersey, I've been oh. to America, and but but I'm back in my favourite place. Yeah, because that was the whole thing. You were aiming to tour around New Zealand around Christmas time, weren't you? That's it. Well, what we've got coming up is a tour of the North Island, and then I do the South Island in February, you oh, see. Yeah. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So is New Zealand always going to be your base? New Z well, at the moment, London's my base. Right. But this is your home? And this is my home. I've got a gorgeous wee cottage. We've bought a wee place in Littleton. Oh, Littleton I love Harbour. Littleton. And, you know, I've already written a song about it, a tune about it. Right. And I love it there. And, you know, we're so lucky. We get to go to London and we work and, and tour around and get to have some amazing experiences. Performed in Ronnie Scott's earlier this year. Yeah. I was like, oh my Ow, God. That's like... it, it was amazing because I went and saw Nigel Kennedy there oh. last year and another of my favourite violinists, Robbie Lakatos. Oh. I saw him there earlier on this year and I was standing on the stage going, no, this is not me. This is, I can't believe it. And you it. still got to do what your idols did as well. That's great.
So what does the future hold? Just more touring? More, more playing. I just yeah. want to play. You know, there's something I say, and it doesn't matter if there's five people in an audience or 5,000. They've come to see you and they deserve a show. Well, you're and I love but doing your it. your energy, is that just, that's just naturally coming from you when you're I playing? I can't stand playing still, and I used to get told <laughs> off by my teachers, Fiona, stand still, you know, keep your feet on the ground. And I'm like, how do you do that? Oh, great <laughs> to have you in. And I'd say oh. anyone that goes and sees you playing this summer will have a fantastic time. You Thank rock. you so much. Mm, no, you're great. <laughs> now we'll hear more from Fiona later. Wellington audiences can catch fire and light tonight before the tour moves to other centres. For details, see our website at tvnz.co.nz. The keyword, good morning. Now we have three copies of Fiona's album, Fire and Light, to give away. To enter the draw, just answer this question. Which European orchestra features on Fiona's latest album? Write to us at P.O. Box 31643 Lower Hut 5040 or you can enter online in our competition section.